Draymond Green's got one year left on his deal at about $27.6 million on the last year of his deal. The expectation is that he will opt out. Mark J. Spears believes Draymond Green will opt out and become an unrestricted free agent this summer. For Draymond, he spoke you know, pretty honest and candidly about this on his podcast and even in his post-game presser. He said, we'll see what happens as far as my contract goes. Obviously, I have an opt-out. Everybody knows about that. I know about that. I'm aware of that. But as I've told you guys for years, I want to be a warrior for the rest of my life. I want to ride out with the same dudes I rode in with. And I think we put the work in to make that happen. And here we are with our worst season as a whole since 2014. And yet we had a chance to make another run. It never is as bad as it seems. It's never as good as it seems. Draymond, now at the age of 33, has spent his entire career with Golden State. Keep in mind, there's some other elements in the room. Obviously, Bob Myers stepping down is a big piece to this puzzle. He was the guy that had been running the show pretty much this entire Warriors run. He drafted Draymond, if I'm not mistaken. He didn't draft Steph or Clay, but drafted Draymond and definitely believed in Draymond and clearly has had Draymond's ear. And I think Draymond's had his ear as well to a degree. He's now out in Golden State, announced his decision a few weeks back. Mike Dunleavy is expected to be in as the new Warriors general manager, uh, handing, you know, pretty much taking over those VP roles and GM roles in that Warriors organization. So from that standpoint, I don't know where Draymond stands with the ownership group. I don't know where Draymond stands with Mike Dunleavy. I guess only time will tell. I will say this. I don't like comparing Draymond's situation to most guys in the league. Draymond is of the 2% smart guys in the league. Like, this is a really sharp dude that got with LeBron and Clutch and other people, other smart people early in his career, early enough in his career, and he understands business. He understands how to run his business. Look at what he's doing with the podcast space. One day we're going to get an announcement that Draymond Green is going to separate from Colin Coward and the volume and do his own thing. I promise you, it's going to happen. Like, he's already a deal with, with Turner. You know, he's going to be a fixture in media for quite some time. And I think that just shows you where his mind is already at. Draymond's no fool. And this is what I believe to be the difference between Draymond Green and Clay Thompson, who we'll talk about in another video. Draymond's not an idiot. Draymond is not oblivious to where he fits in in the spectrum of the league. He watches a lot of basketball. He's in love with the game. He's in love with his profession. If there's a reason why Draymond doesn't shoot. Now, I don't understand why Ben Simmons doesn't shoot. I know why Draymond doesn't shoot. He doesn't think he's going to make the next damn shot. He doesn't believe his shot is as good as a shot of Steph or Clay's. I understand that. I totally understand that. So I think Draymond understands his best days are behind him, probably athletically and probably just overall. I can see Draymond taking a lot off the top to, to get a three, four year deal, but find a way to make it so nobody else will want to trade for Draymond. I think that's the key with a new contract for Draymond Green. Man, even if you got to backload that deal, you got to figure out a way to make that contract to the point where Draymond's not as good as what the contract is. That, that's what my angle would be. You know, find a way to make that contract a contract only the Warriors would want to have on their roster. And I think that's the key to making it work for Draymond and Golden State. Because if you look at what he brings to the table, even today at 33, he's a one of one. You know, his unique ability to affect the game, even undersized as a defender, he can pretty much give it a go with anybody in the league. You can't say that about many guys. He can, pretty, he can give it a go with anybody in the league. He's got the IQ. He's got the foot speed. And Draymond's lost a lot of weight over the years, too. He doesn't get enough credit for that. He could give it a go with pretty much anybody in the league. And I bring that up to say the Warriors could trade Draymond. But what's out there? They could they could move off Draymond. But what's really out there? If he, if he you know, what, what could Golden State get in return that would equal the value for Draymond under $25 million a year? It's very hard to find guys of that yoke. And I'm looking at a lot of these young bulls down the pipeline. They ain't got the smarts that Draymond's got. No, no disrespect, but it is the truth. I would want that around. I would be hard-pressed to find that somewhere else. 
And I think Draymond and Golden State figure something out this offseason. Welcome to NBA offseason 2023. You're in great hands with Hoops Ferro. There's no network behind me. There's no budget behind me. Just straight grind and hoops talk. If you don't want to miss a beat this offseason from trades, free agent signings, and draft talk, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's run these numbers up. It's free 99 to show me that you support the grind. Let's go.